I'm Lauren Zonville and I am a freelancer in the live music. So a freelancer is someone who works for themselves. You don't have a specific employer per se. Um, you are your own boss um, and you work for either you can work for one company or work for yourself or you can work for multiple different companies, organisations. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm So from the get-go after uni, I really wanted to have a foothold in lots of different areas in the live music industry and just the music industry in general. So I try to, you know, try to still do as many jobs as I possibly can. So at the moment, I am a sound engineer, uh, production coordinator for live music, and I am a promoter for Loose Fit, which is a collective based in Manchester. Um, I also do a bit of tour managing and I assist a tour manager as well. So, sound engineering, I play guitar. I went to music college in the Lake District called Kendall College and I basically decided that I wanted to have a career in the music industry performing music, had a realisation that potentially it wasn't going to be the most secure career and then throughout having that, those sort of thoughts um, one of my tutors took us into the, we had a small music studio and showed me how to use the mixing desk and I was like, thought it was amazing and thought well it's, if it's not going to be very likely for me to be a musician then this seems like a great career and it's been the best decision that I've probably ever made. So production for live music is anything to do with the audio, PA, so the sound systems for events, um, lighting, video, um, staging, stage managing, anything to do with making the live, the music part of the event actually happen. So a tour manager, rather than dealing with the more technical side of things, they are more, um, they deal more with the artist personally and their day-to-day -day life on tour, their needs, wants, setting up dressing rooms, just making sure that the artist gets from A to B, has everything that they want, is happy, and also plans and schedules, the whole logistics side of the tours. Um, they're basically, top of the food chain on a live music show. So promoting events is basically when a team of people or one person comes into an event, books the artists for some specific venue, uh, sets ticket prices and actually helps market the event, sell tickets, get people interested, make people known about the artists that they're putting on and I think the main thing about promoting that a lot of people forget is the fact that you're doing it to promote these artists to be bigger and better and get more exposure as well in the music industry because you're excited about them. So I would definitely say if you're at an age where you decide whether or not to go to university, it's not super essential. Um, you can get into the industry other ways, but it, it's the famous saying that the music industry is who you know, and to a certain extent it is. So you need to focus on doing work for free, work experience, which you can do at part time if we take people on. Um, just getting people to know who you are, just working hard for you know learning at that point just you pick up things day to day that you might not even realise. Um, so I think get out to local venues, watch gigs, ask questions to people. People are more than happy to speak to you most of the time unless they're super busy 
But yeah, I'd just say get your face out there, make sure people know that you're interested and keen and just always focus on keeping learning.